Hello friends, welcome back to Invest with Ara. As per request, the stock taken for fundamental analysis today is Godrej Agrovet Limited. Now we know about the Excel program. This is a program wherein we feed financial data to this program and arrive at a conclusion whether to invest in that particular stock or not at this point of time the app that we use to collect financial data is the stock edge app so let's go ahead we type in Godrej Agrovet limited in the search bar of stock edge app here we could see the last traded price of Godrej Agrovet limited was 520.95 on 19th of October 2018. Now let's go to the fundamental tab. The sector of Godrej Agrovet Limited is FMCG, that is fast moving consumer goods, and industry is consumer food. Now let's understand about the company. For that, we click on show profile. We could see that the company was incorporated in 1991. Okay. The company is focused on improving productivity of farmers by innovating products and services that sustainably increase crop and livestock yields. The business area of the company is the company is a diversified research and development focused agri-business company with operations across five business verticals that is animal feed, crop protection, oil palm, dairy and poultry and processed foods. So this was about the company. Now let's go to the financial indicators. We'll be putting these values onto our Excel program. So the first is the market cap. The market cap is 10,003.74 so a mid cap company EPS is 12.27 price to earning ratio is 42.47 the industry P by E ratio is not rated and is considered zero book value per share is 77.23 price to book value is 6.75 the dividend yield of the company is 0.86 and the face value is 10 the number of shares subscribed is 19.20 crores. Now coming on to the return ratio, we go to the ratios tab and under the drop down menu we select return ratios. The first is return on equity which is 19.44, return on capital employed is 22.95, return on asset is 6.96. Overall return ratio has given us a signal to buy the stock at this point of time. Now coming on to efficiency ratio. The first is EBITDA margin which is 9.12. EBIT margin is 7.7. .7. PAT margin is 4.51. Earning per share. This is the trailing EPS which is 11.94. Asset turnover ratio is 1.54. Days of receivables is 40.44 and days of payables is 26.93 and days of inventory is 52.62. Even the efficiency ratio has given us a signal to buy the stock at this point of time. Now coming on to the growth ratio. Under the drop down menu we select growth ratio. The first one is net sales growth which is 5.59. EBITDA growth is minus 4.46, net profit growth is minus 7.63 and EPS growth is minus 11.19. So overall growth ratio has not given us a signal to buy the stock at this point of time. Now coming on to the solvency ratio. Under the drop down menu we select the solvency ratio. The first one is the total debt to equity ratio which is 0.29. Now when we click on 0.29 we get to know that the total debt on the company is 409.80 crores against a net worth of 1411.37 crores which is 
okay but not good as per the program now coming on to interest coverage ratio it is 8.85 now when we click on 8.85 we could see the earning before income tax is 400.98 crores whereas the interest that they are paying is 45.31 crores the current ratio is 0.95 which is less than 1 and hence bad so overall solvency ratio has given us a signal to not to invest in the company at this point of time coming on to the cash flow ratios the cash flow per share is positive 18.43 and free cash flow per share is positive 1.44 so cash flow per share has also given us a signal to buy the stock at this point of time and coming on to the last ratio which is the valuation ratio the first parameter is price to earning ratio which is 53.38 price to book ratio is 8.68 price to cash flow ratio is 34.58 enterprise value to EBITDA ratio is 25.9 and market cap to sales ratio is 2.36 so overall valuation ratio has given us a signal to not to invest in the company at this point of time now let's see the program in its entirety has given us a signal to not to invest in the company at this point of time hope you might have liked this video if you have liked this video kindly like share and subscribe for any queries write in the comment section below further if any one of you wants to compare or perform fundamental analysis of any of their particular stock can write to me in the comment section below thank you